If you've ever been near a construction site, you might have seen a concrete truck pulling off to the side, spraying water into its drum, and letting a slurry of concrete and water spill into a washout pit. But why do they do this? Is it just for cleaning, or is there more to it? You might be surprised at the real reason. Let's break it down. Before we talk about the washout, let's look inside the truck's mixing drum. Concrete trucks are designed to keep the mix constantly turning so the concrete doesn't harden while being transported. Inside, spiral-shaped blades help churn and mix the concrete as the drum rotates. But once the truck is done pouring, there's always some leftover material stuck to the blades. If that leftover concrete isn't cleaned out, it starts to dry and harden. Over time, this buildup gets thicker and thicker, reducing the truck's capacity. Too much dried concrete and the truck becomes useless. It can't mix properly, and it gets heavier, making it harder to dry. That's a costly problem for concrete companies. To prevent this, concrete trucks have to be washed out after every job. Right after pouring, the driver adds water into the drum and spins it, helping loosen any remaining concrete. The slurry is then dumped into a designated washout area on site, or taken back to the plant for proper disposal. But what if a driver forgets to wash out the truck? If concrete hardens inside, it won't just rinse away with water. Companies have to use special chipping hammers or even chemical treatments to break it apart, an expensive and time-consuming fix. So next time you see a concrete truck rinsing out, remember, it's not just about keeping the truck clean, it's about keeping it functional, efficient, and compliant with regulations. Without washouts, these trucks wouldn't last long. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen one of these in action.